Oh my God, my house is such a clutter mess. I tell you, it's a disaster. Ah! Hey, TVs, it's Saggy Bob. Well, you know, I'm now I'm getting out this video late today, but I've been working on my house and doing readings. Anyways, behind me here is my new painting that I did, and some of you who have been following my channel know this, but I just thought I'd show it to you again. This is my newest modern art piece. It's called Green Horizon, and my inspiration for this painting came from the famous um, painter Mark Rothko. Let me see if I can zoom back, step back here. And uh, I did this painting recently, and in my whole house, since I'm redoing it in Minimalist, I stripped everything off the walls, and the only thing I have are a few canvases, and I'm designing my own artwork. So this is one of my paintings, which I've shown you. Now, as I've told you guys, you know, I've been inspired by Mark Rothko, because I think of his art as kind of minimalist. So this is one of my prints that I just got and framed, and it's going to be on display in my house. So check it out here. You can, you can see it here. Um, this is an untitled work by him. But uh, it's similar to kind of my painting. It's different. It's done in colors of red and black and gold uh, and brown. But I just love, I love Mark Rothko. I don't know if you guys watching know Mark Rothko, but if you don't, I encourage you to check him out. Now, this is just temporarily being put here. I'm redesigning my whole counter area. It's going to literally be like a whole different backdrop. I'm taking everything down. But for right now, I have this stored here, and I just wanted to show it to you guys. It's a lovely, lovely print. It dates from, I think, 1954 or 57. I have to look. Anyways, but there's one of my other artworks. My whole house is going to have very few things in it, but the things that, that I have will be inspirational. Well, it's late. I've been working all day. I haven't had time to eat, so I'm going to take a quick walk out here and get something to eat. So come on along for a little night walk. Let's go. Here's our elevator. Going down. Well, Tubies, I'm outside and our moon just went behind the clouds. I don't know if you can see the glow. It's been was out just a few minutes ago and now it's covered over. It's gentle air tonight. And it's a good night for a walk. Come on along. Looks like some storms are coming. It's getting cooler and there's a lot of cloud cover. But that's okay, the air feels cool because it's been really hot the past two days. So I'm not complaining, I'm thankful for it. Let's cruise on along. It's a good night for a walk, it really is. You know, when you get out and walk at night, it gives you a different perspective. It's like the world is psychically quieter and so you can hear yourself think a little more. You can hear the trees and the plants. Like, look at this beautiful tree here. It's so gentle and calm. It's an oak tree. But at night, it's like you can commune with the tree because the hubbub of the day is settled down. And so you can go over, touch the tree, and send a blessing to it. That, I think, is a blessing. Thank you, tree, for your blessing of oxygen. Thank you for being part of our world. We're blessed by you. So motivated. Thank you. See, being aware of the natural world, even in the middle of a city like where I live, it's restorative to the soul. It really is. And Tubies, when you get out at night and walk, you start to notice things that you might have missed during the day because you're distracted by all the traffic. Do you remember a few weeks ago when I showed you those plants and I said they look like asparagus stalks? And I said, mm, I want to eat them. Well, those stalks are all gone now. It looks like as fall approach, they've either withered or been cut. But this is the plant that the, the stalks rose above. But I don't see any stalks now, so I guess the asparagus stalks are gone. A sign that fall is upon us. As we get into the fall, you'll notice, and sometimes it takes going out at night to notice the difference, because as I said, it's quieter and you can slow down. But the color of the bushes are starting to change. I still hear some crickets inside this bush. Can you hear the cricket? But soon they'll be going inside and hiding. 
But you see, a night walk helps you to see things a little more closer, that the glaring light of day might hide from your eyes. I recommend night walking. Look at this big giant bush up here. I've always loved this big bush here. It's on, I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of dark. But it's massive. It's, I think it's a, it actually might be a cedar. Now I'm looking at it. But it's literally taller than me. Let's see if I can get a sense of it here. Here I am. It's behind me. You may not be able to see it so well on camera, but it's a giant cedar. It goes up about seven or eight feet high. I love that. That's an evergreen. It will stay green throughout the winter. Hmm. This air tonight is so gentle. What's it like where you are? Is it gentle air? Here I am outside the fire station. There's our flag, our national flag, and our state flag flying. I think that's very dramatic looking tonight. Oh, and look, Tubies, the moon is trying to creep out. I just, oh, it went. It's, the moon's playing hide and seek with me tonight. I peeked out. And it went behind the cloud. It looks like a bright golden moon tonight. Someday we'll have freedom again for targeted individuals. Someday we'll reclaim this flag and it will represent freedom. Oh, this air is just heavenly. I'm really enjoying this night walk. I'm gonna go up to McDonald's and get something to eat. No, McDonald's is not sponsoring me. But I'm going there anyways. Here we are coming on upon Mickey D's. Oh my God, they are so busy now. All these cars driving through. They're gonna be a crazy night in here. You know how I feel about McDonald's, how I kind of feel about CVS. Sometimes there's more drama that I'm in the mood to deal with. So let's pray we get through this without a lot of drama. <laughs> Come on along. Here we go. Mickey D's. I like their bright open sign. That's kind of cool. Neon. I'm always into neon. I love neon. I'll never forget when I went to Las Vegas. I was in heaven out there with all that neon. My hair's flying. Here we are. We're going to get something. It's a cover of Oh my God. There's so many orders ahead of me. This is going to be crazy in here tonight. Ah, oh, man. We'll just hang out till it's all done. I love this little animation they got going. Straight from the kitchen. There's fries. There's a little guy with his spiked hair. Coming to you. Isn't that cute? I just love that. Enjoy. Yeah. That's so much fun. Ooh, well, I got my stuff. I'm out of here. There's some crazy in here. It feels like it's like a Friday night. It's a Thursday night, but oh well, we got through it. I'm glad for that. Let's walk on home. Ah, it's more peaceful out here. I'd rather commune with the trees, you know, than be in that crazy madhouse. Bye-bye, McDonald's. Let's go back into nature where there's some peace. <laughs> well, I tell you, I think this cool weather is bringing everybody out tonight. But it is nice to walk and to meditate and just chillax with you guys. I'm sorry I didn't get to go anywhere fun today. It's just been a really busy day. But you know, I never want to miss a chance to hang out with you guys. Here we are coming upon the flag waving in the night. Time sky. I like the look of a flag. My father always kept a flag outside our house. I still believe in the American ideals, though many people in this country are forgetting them. We'll get back, America. We gotta have some faith and work towards it. Well, guys, I'm not gonna make this a long video tonight because Sega Bob's tired. I've been working and I gotta eat dinner. But I just wanted to spend a few minutes and just, you know, share with you what kind of what's going on. I'm working on my minimalism and I'm, you know, working on my home and doing my readings. By the way, those of you who are new here, uh, I have a new phone number if you want to call me for a private reading. My new phone number is 
703-825-3929. So give me a call. We'd love to get you on the schedule. If you didn't see yesterday's video, check that out as well because um, I showed my witch collection, my witch doll collection, and I did some reading from a wonderful book called The Sea Priestess. So you want to check that out. If you didn't see yesterday's video, definitely check that out after this. Well, guys, listen, I'm so glad you're here, and I hope wherever you are, you're having a blessed night. If you're up late and you get to see this, I hope it uh, brings you some inspiration to get out and walk and look around. And uh, I'm just glad you're here. Listen, help me out. Like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, post it around, tell people about Spirit Channel and what we do here, because I'd sure love to have your support. And uh, for those of you who are, again, interested, Give me a call for a private reading. You know, private reading, it's you and me, one-on-one -on -one for an hour. We'll look at everything. Past, present, future, spirit guides, past lives, your life mission, all of that. And I answer questions. And I can do that by phone or Skype, so we can make that happen. Anyways, I don't see our moon. It looks like she's hiding from us. But it's a gentle night, and I'm going to sleep well. <laughs> Well, guys, thanks for coming along. I love you. We'll be back here tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, Paranormal Friday. I'm not sure what we're doing yet because I kind of have a busy reading schedule. So I may not get that video out till a little later, but we're going to explore something mystical. So just be here. We'll see you then. I love you guys. Good night. Blessed be.